Ontario's COVID-19 rules are fast disappearing, and I think most people are perfectly happy with that. I know I sure am. Yes, there is a vocal minority out there that are desperately clinging to the rules they want them to stick around. They were upset that the vaccine passport was eliminated, and they called on individual businesses to choose to keep the vaccine passport system in place. Now, there have been news reports of a few places doing just that, but it'll be interesting to see just for how long they keep it up. Now, I know we can look at polling figures and say, this number of people wanted the rules gone, this number wanted them to stay, but I think even the people who said, yes, we think masks should stay in place or what have you, well, I think if you really drill down, you'll find that the, the ferventness with which they stick to those views probably isn't that strong. I mean, they were saying, yeah, keep the mask rule in place, but then if you eliminate the rule, it's not like they're going to be angry, they're going to be upset, freaking out about it. I think, they go, oh, okay, the mask rule's gone, fine, I'll stop wearing the mask. I, I think the actual percentage of people who are really clinging to these rules is much smaller. And here's the thing, when we talk about these rules, let's remember these are mandates, mandating that everybody must follow these rules. We're not suddenly saying it is illegal to keep wearing a mask, you always have that choice. You know, one of the things that's always frustrated me about the, the various phrases we use in Ontario when we talk about COVID rules is we talk about the chief medical officer's recommendations. But here's the thing, we know they're not recommendations. They're hard and fast laws that you better be following or else you're gonna be fined or maybe the police are gonna come by and say, why aren't you wearing this mask? We're gonna kick you out of this establishment. People are of course much more relaxed about that now, but there were those videos from well over a year ago where people were being removed from a Walmart by police because they didn't wanna wear the mask. I mean, wow, those were really heated times. But now thankfully we're moving away from that. And I, I would really hope that those medical voices who make a lot of noise online saying we need these rules and we need those restrictions, I wish they would return to the original spirit of recommendations and that if there is someone out there who thinks, well, you know, I think people should still keep wearing those masks. Well, then just say that and say, here's why I believe you should still wear a mask. And well, maybe people will take you up on that offer. Maybe they won't. But do we really need to return to a position where we are saying absolutely everybody must be doing that by law? I mean, I wish that we had had a much more measured approach all along where things had been more actual recommendations. Because the truth is, in many jurisdictions where they don't say mandate masks, at certain periods throughout the past two years, well, many people did wear masks. In some cases, a majority of people still wore masks. We just didn't freak out over the fact that there was 10 or 15 or 20 percent of people who didn't want to wear the masks. There was choice. And I wish we had given people a bit more choice, a bit more breathing room all throughout all of this. It's nice to see Ontario's COVID-19 rules are finally going away, and like I said, I, I think most people are just gonna be happy to see things finally return to normal.